Hey, what's up? It's Jay Lucky Henry. So today, we're gonna talk about why is rent so expensive? And that's subjective, of course, but why is it so expensive? Get ready. This is Jay Lucky Henry, Keller Williams agent in the greater Boston area. You won't believe how many people need to get real. R-E-A-L, Real Estate Explained, amazingly, by Lucky, in 90 seconds, give or take. Welcome back, it's Jay Lucky Henry. So we're talking about why is rent subjectively so expensive? Now, real estate's about supply and demand. I could end the segment right here. Supply and demand, boom, get it, boom, walk away. But let's go a little bit, let's, let's go a little deeper. Let's unpack that a little bit. We know supply and demand, right? The more supply you have and the less demand for it, then you're gonna have to lower the price to get some of those sold, right? If supply, if supply is low but demand is high, then you increase the price because you only got a few to sell anyway, so why not increase the profit on that amount? So when we're talking about rent in these metropolitan urban cities that are highly dense populated, right? Why is rent getting so expensive? You know what I'm talking about. New York, Boston, Cali, Miami, parts of Texas, right? So number one, that expensive is subjective, right? That's a whole other topic on whether or not our wages competing with how fast rent prices and affordability of houses are going up, right? I'm in real estate, I'm not in the Department of Labor where I'm determining minimum wage or anything like that, but is it going up at the same rate as these prices are going up? Yes, no, we think we know the answer to that. The other thing is, when you say, look, a $2,000 apartment is just too much. Now, of course that may be too much to you and maybe too much to me, maybe too much to some other people, but to somebody it's not. And this is a simple case, again, of supply and demand. If there's only but so much that they have to rent out, and there's, if they only have 10 units they need to rent, and there's 20 people that want it, they could charge $100, they could charge 1500 bucks a month, and everyone could afford it. But they could charge 2000 and only 12 people could afford it. And out of those 12, 10 people take it. So they just made $2,000 a month versus 1500 a month, because someone's willing to pay for it. And then you say, oh, well, that's not fair. Let's keep the prices low. Let's keep it at 15 and let everybody be able to afford it. Okay, fair. At the end of the day, there's still only 10 apartments and there's 20 people that want it. Whether they charge 2,000, 1,000, 1,500, there's still going to be 10 people that don't get that apartment. So the question I'm gonna reverse back to you is, is it fair for them to make less money than they could make on these apartments when only the same amount of people are still going to get them, right? You can say, well, I got there first and I can afford it at 1500. Very well, that could be very likely, but the person who can afford 2000 will outbid you for that apartment, right? They will say, hey, I heard you got an apartment. You collected 1500, I'll pay you 2000 for it. And the moment that happens, every other landlord around is gonna say, hey, if you're gonna get 2000 for that, I want 2000 for that, my apartment's nicer. Right? No one comes to your job and tells you that you should charge less for what you're doing. So in real estate, it's the same thing. We gotta figure out how to create more spaces that are affordable and alongside those that are people are paying a premium for. This is not something I have the answer to today. This is the one real where I'm not actually giving you the answer. I'm addressing the situation. I'm saying, look, I get it, I see it, but let's not get mad at the people who offer the apartments because they're in it to make money. They're trying to run a business just like any other business that runs and charges money. So let's figure out how to do it. I don't know, drop in the comments, give me some answers, give me some solutions. Let me know what you guys think is an answer to this affordability crisis that we're currently facing. It's been real, it's been 90, gotta go. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. This is Jay Lucky Henry, and I'm here to keep it real with you. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, Call or text 978-712-0244 and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more.